Hey, welcome to Mad English TV. Take a look at these two guys, Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein. What's the difference between them? Well, there's probably lots of differences. His beard is bigger, his beard is smaller, okay? But the difference I'm looking for is that Osama bin Laden was a terrorist. Okay, Saddam Hussein wasn't a terrorist. We don't use the word terrorism uh, for countries or leaders of countries. Okay, terrorists are always just sort of small groups of people. They're not leaders of countries. We have a different word for that. Okay, so Saddam Hussein was guilty of crimes against humanity. What is crimes against humanity? Well, crimes against humanity is intentional and systematic killing on a large scale. Okay, if the leader of a country is really bad and he kills a lot of people, okay, then he would be guilty of committing crimes against humanity. Okay, so Saddam Hussein killed a lot of people, right? Uh, for example, he used chemical weapons against the Kurdish people. Okay, so he killed them intentionally. It means it was his choice. And systematic means it was his plan. Okay, there was a system of killing people. And on a large scale, that means a lot of people. Okay, he didn't just kill one person. He killed a lot of people. Okay, so he was guilty of crimes against humanity. Okay, it's sort of a nice way to say terrorist. Okay, the difference between a terrorist and the leader of a country, sometimes there's really no difference. But we wouldn't call the leader of a country a terrorist. Okay, so nobody like George Bush, uh, Vladimir Putin, any leader of a country, we wouldn't use the word terrorist. We would say they're guilty of crimes against humanity if they kill a lot of people. Okay, so sometimes in the news, you'll see this term here, war crimes. Okay, what's a war crime? Well, there's something called the Geneva Convention. The Geneva Convention. Geneva is a place in Switzerland. Okay, and a long time ago, all the countries got together and they said, okay, in war, some rules must be followed. <laughs> okay, it sounds crazy. Why would someone follow rules in a war? But they said this, that rules must be followed. Okay, for example, you can kill someone with a gun, that's okay, but you can't kill them with poisonous gas. You can't do that. Uh, also, torture, uh, cannot be done. Okay, you can't torture anyone. Torture means causing someone pain without killing them. Okay, you're just causing them a lot of pain, but you're not killing them. Okay, there's a kind of torture called waterboarding. Waterboarding. Now, some countries do this to get secrets or information out of someone. Okay, now waterboarding is when they put a cloth over someone's face and they dump water over the person's face and it makes them feel like they're drowning. Okay, then the idea is if they do this a few times, then the person will give up their secrets. Okay, maybe they want to know where Osama bin Laden is hiding. Tell us where he's hiding. Tell us where he's hiding, you know, and they'll dump water on his face and they hope that after some time the person will give up the secret or the information. Okay, here's another uh, crime that's related to war. Genocide. Genocide. That means killing everyone who belongs to a certain group. Okay, let's say I didn't like Swedish people. So I go to Sweden and I start killing everyone. Okay, then I would be guilty of committing genocide. Genocide. I'm trying to kill all the Swedish people in the world or something like that, right? Um, Hitler 
Hitler didn't like Jews, okay, and he killed millions of Jews. So he was uh, guilty of genocide. He wanted to get them out. Okay, we actually we have a special word for that. Uh, it's called ethnic cleansing. Ethnic cleansing. Okay, that means you kill everyone who belongs to a certain religion or ethnicity. Okay, so Hitler, he wanted to kill Jews and get them out of Germany. Okay, the word cleansing means to clean. He wanted to clean Germany from all the people he didn't like. Okay, Jews, uh, gypsies, other people that he hated. He wanted Germany to be the one Aryan race. Aryan is like uh, the white German people. Okay, he wanted Germany to be for the white German people. He didn't want all these other groups. Okay, so he was trying to clean Germany. It's, the term is ethnic cleansing. Okay, um, now here's another uh, word that you hear sometimes. Treason. Treason. That means when you betray your country. Okay, let's say I'm fighting in the Canadian army and I give some secrets to other countries. Okay, then I would be guilty of committing treason. Treason. That means I'm betraying my country. Okay, now here's another word, defect. Okay, defect means joining the opposite side. Okay, let's say I'm fighting in the Canadian army and I decide I don't want to do this anymore. I don't like the Canadian army. I don't like Canada. I'm going to join the opposite team. Okay, then I would defect to the other team and I would be called a defector. A defector. Okay, here's another word that you see sometimes. Military coup. A military coup. Uh, that's when a military takes over the country. Okay, now this word here is pronounced coup, not coup. Coup. Okay, in 2016, there was an attempted coup in Turkey. Okay, uh, attempted means they tried, but they, they failed. Okay, and so they, the military tried to take over the country. Um, so they attempted, they tried. Okay, so the last word I want to teach you is guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla warfare. That means uh, small groups of soldiers, usually rebels, who hide in the forest and attack something and then go back and hide in the forest and then attack. Attack. Okay, that's called guerrilla warfare. And these people are called guerrillas. Okay, now. Gorilla and gorilla are different words, okay? They're pronounced exactly the same, but they mean different things. This is a gorilla, okay? This is the animal, and this is the rebel fighter, okay? Gorilla and gorilla. Okay, I want to know, do you think torture is okay in some situations? Let me know down there in the comments, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.